Today I'm going to be showing you how to make the bottom board of Beehive using just regular 1x4 lumber. First thing we need to do is true up the edge of the lumber so that it's nice and square. The next thing we need to do is cut one board that's 15 and 5 8 inches long. I've got a 15 and 5 8 inch keeper installed. Next thing we need to do is cut two pieces that are 22 inches long. I have a 22 inch keeper installed. Now we have our one board that's 15 and 5 8 inches long and we have two boards that are 22 inches long. We now need to rip all three boards down to a width of 2 inches. We now have our lumber that we're going to make our bottom board with. Two sides and the back. Now we're at the router table. We'll take the 15 and 5 8 inch board and we're going to cut a rabbit on each end. A 3 8 rabbit, the same rabbit that we did on our medium supers. our rabbit on each end. Now on the 22 inch long boards, the long ones, we're going to cut a rabbit on one end of each board. Here we have it. We've got our two 22 inch boards with one rabbit, and we have our 15 and 5 8 inch board with two rabbit joints. Now we come over here to this handy jig that I built, and we're going to go ahead and lay our 15 and 5 8 inch board right in that rail. And then we're going to cut a 3 quarter inch wide dado joint. There's our three quarter inch wide dado joint. This here is three quarters of an inches, enough room that we can put our entrance reducer on the hive. Now we'll take our two 22 inch boards 
and we're going to cut a dado joint in them, but they both have to be done a little different. This one's the exact same way. See how it was installed? I had it in there just like this with the rabbited end toward the back. The other one, for it to go together right, the rabbited end has to go towards me and the uncut end goes in the jig. much easier than that. Now we come over here to our beehive and you can see we'll paint, take this thinner edge and it goes toward the bottom. The rabbit joints on the long boards have got to go toward the back. It's like so. line him up like that and then on the short board then piece down tucks right inside of there like that And there we have our frame that's ready for our piece of three quarter inch thick plywood to slide down in there and be glued and nailed together. And we'll have a nice bottom board. And our entrance reducer, it'll leave us just thick enough to get our entrance reducer put in. All of these dado joints that we cut are three-eighths of an inch deep a quarter to three-eighths of an inch deep I didn't adjust the router at all it it's just the same router that we do our uh, handles on our supers with it's the same router that we cut that in with same depth quarter to three-eighths of an inch now I'm gonna be cutting a piece of plywood that's fifteen and a half inches wide by twenty one and a half inches long and that'll fit right down in there. Now that we've got our plywood cut, 15 and a half inches wide by 21 and a half inches long, we're ready to start assembling our bottom board. Remember with the rabbit joints on the long boards toward the back and the thin piece toward the bottom, I'm using a piece of 5 8 plywood. Now we're going to go ahead and add our glue and glue the thing together. them rabbit joints.
pretty darn easy. doing here. I want to run a couple nails down along this seam. Get this frame held together here. And I just like to kind of go right on here, trying to get them all in there decent. Came through a little bit there at the bottom, but nothing too trivial. Put a couple here in this cross section. Okay, angled up a little bit there. That'll hold all this real nice. bottom board. We'll just check for squareness there in the corners. That looks good. Pretty darn good. So now you take your hive box. Set him up there. reducer and that looks pretty darn good and that's about all there is to it making a bottom board And here I just used a piece of 5 8 plywood. You can probably use 3 quarters if you wanted to or whatever fit in that dado joint. I'm sure the 5 8 is going to be just fine. She's good and, good and sturdy now. So that's all there is to it. <laughs> 